First, there is a quote that is kind of common in Africa, maybe in Nigeria, you know, where I grew up. It says something like, 10, years, 10 days of grace is more than one day of grace is more than 10 years 10 of years of labor, labor. Mm -hmm. so how do you explain the function of grace and hard work as it relates to success um there is no success without hard work mm -hmm. you could have grace but if you don't work out that grace nothing will work out we all have grace even unbelievers have grace but the results you have will depend on how much work you put into that grace. Mm. So this whole concept of one day of grace, you know? It's yes, one day of favor is be might be better than 10 years of labor, but you don't live by that. That's a miracle. It's more an except exception than the rule. So you don't depend on that. Trying to depend on one day of uh, uh, favor is trying to play the lottery. It's just like saying, oh, if I play lottery, I can win uh, in one day more money than 100 years of work, which is true. But who told you that you win? So it's like, um, it's, you know, it's trying to get something for nothing. It's a sign of irresponsibility to wait for one day of favor. Just serve God, do your best, be diligent in what you do, work hard. And if God wants you to have a one day of favor, you will, ha you will have it without you asking for it or demanding for it. You cannot manipulate God that way. Just face your job. Do what you need to do. Be serious about your life. Be diligent. Be hardworking. And forget about quoting some, uh, you know, quote quotations that will give you false hope. In other words, you're actually emphasizing on the need to, for applying principles. Yes. So it's about because principles. Life is, life is created to be lived by principles and rules, laws and rules, not by luck and miracles. Hmm.